What is going on everyone? Might go back doing another box break and today I'll be breaking a box of the newly released 2023 Topps Allen and Ginter. For those who've been following the channel for years, you know I'm a big fan of Topps Allen and Ginter year in and year out. Really cool designs, really enjoy the product generally speaking. I love getting the base cards autographed in person or through the mail. Now in recent years I've fallen off of collecting the autographs or getting autographs, acquiring autographs. It just hasn't been the same post pandemic. There aren't as many in-person opportunities in terms of charity events. And I have just personally gotten too busy to do much TTMing and all of that stuff, but I would love to pick it up again in the future. But these cards uh, look great autographed. Now it's not the easiest break. It's a product, it costs you about $100 to $110 per box. And you get some hits, but you don't necessarily get autographs. There's really only a few autographs per case. So it is tough to get the autographs. It's usually, usually relic cards, but you can hit huge autographs for sure. They have short prints, high number stuff, all sorts of inserts and parallels. They got the odd crazy stuff as well. So it's a fun product to open. It's something a little different. I love the old school look and the paper cards. I definitely enjoy that as well. So 2023 tops Allen and Ginter. We break in this one hobby box, 24 packs, eight cards per pack. We'll see how we do. At the very least, I'll have a good time and get some cool looking cards. It's a set, a base set that I would love to uh, put together every year. I really haven't done it in recent years and I don't expect to do it this year. But you never know, in the future you could always do it. Most of these will be available in the eBay shop um, and during live sales. But I'll uh, kind of continue to stick to collecting Phillies for the most part. And then I do, I will keep some more stars and do some binder pages for, uh, for some of this stuff. So you do get a box loader, so we've got a jumbo card there. And then we got our 24 packs. Just be a little easier to pull them all out. Put the empty box aside and we'll see how we do. Here's our uh, oversized box loader. So this is the oversized, I think they're still doing the N43. I think they have a few different box loaders if I remember right. You can get autographs, obviously difficult to get. And you just kind of never know what you'll get. All right, there you go. So that's one I would want to acquire anyways. That's awesome. Bryce Harper, box loader. That's super cool. You've received a box loader from 2023 Tops Allen & Ginter. So very cool. That is awesome. That, that looks great. Sweet. So thrilled to add that to the collection. Like I said, that's one I would like to pick up. And the box loaders, there is a little bit of a market for it. I mean, they're not the easiest thing to sell. Um, but as someone who looks to acquire some, some of the Phillies ones, they're not easy to find either. Um, when the product comes out, you can grab them. But then eventually people just, they don't know what to do with them. They don't know how to store them and such. All right, let's get into pack number one. So our very first card is a rookie of Bryce Terang of the Milwaukee Brewers. We got a Paul Goldschmidt, a Robinson, Nolan Jones rookie. Kyle Stowers rookie, Logan Ohapi, a mini of Lou Bob, looks like a base mini, and Fun in the Sun, kiteboarding. Ins insert there. There are short prints. The short prints aren't super short printed or anything. They're not as short as maybe other products. I believe it's 301 through 400. So those are all base. And sometimes there's commons in there, but I think there's some rookies and stuff like that in the high numbers to look out for this year. All right, there's a Lou Bob, uh, Classe, Meyer, Yawn, Array. I do wish they went a little, uh, I don't know, a little higher end, a little more A-list celebs rather than B-list. That's a sweet Ted Williams. Mini of Bomani Jones. It's the Allen and Ginter back. And a Pete Alonzo. I'm not sure what that insert is called. 
spotless spans. So when he was red hot, base. Okay, so the Ted Williams is high number, 388. So there you go. Decent short print. I mean, the short prints, at least based on previous years, don't tend to command a ton. But cool to get a Hall of Famer. There's Matt Olson having an awesome year for the Braves. We got Brandon Marsh, Juan Soto. Anthony Rizzo, Cole Reagan's rookie, Thompson, Mini of Castillo, Hen Harrier, talented insert, and those were all base. I didn't even look at the box to see. Uh, Look for any of these three cards. Autograph cards, relic cards, rip cards, printing plates, and book cards. The book cards are awesome. I think I've only pulled one ever, and it was... Oh, who was it? I can't remember offhand, but it definitely wasn't one of the best ones you could get. That was probably five years ago. Jose Abreu, Jacob deGrom, Wasserman, Bell, Nolan Gorman rookie, Brett Beatty rookie, and... There's a relic of Rappaport. So we got Ian Rappaport, Alan Ginter relic. It's a football insider. So relics like this generally do not command um, very much. We got uh, International Delights from Canada. Insert of David Ortiz for his 2024 postseason performance. Oh, Brett Beatty is a high number, so that's nice. Nice to get, like, at least a desirable rookie like that. So, again, offhand, I'm imagining that's, you know, at most a $5 card. Um, but, you know, every little bit helps when you're opening a product like this. Bob Gibson, Aaron Nola, Roberto Clemente, Garrett Mitchell, Got another relic, and it is a mini framed relic, and it is Pudge Rodriguez. So, Ivan Rodriguez, that's a cool one. Hall of Famer, definitely take that. And that mini is sweet. It's the Crocker John Crook, and that's a high number mini, 326. I'm not sure if they're any more difficult to grab um, than the regular ones. I mean, I assume so, but. Music to your ears. So this box is uh, pretty friendly to the PC. A couple Phillies base cards, a mini Cruck, and the box topper Harper. For those who are just jumping in, watching the break, I am a Phillies fan and a Phillies collector. Oh, man, that uh, Randy Johnson's so sweet. That's an awesome card in the old school Expos uniform. That is definitely getting the image right there. Eloy Jimenez, Greg Maddox, Mount Placer, Chapman, Bob Gibson, a mini black. It's a terrible black. Uh, Urias, definitely not who you'd prefer to get. And Aaron Judge, 11 homers in 12 games span in 2022. Bob Gibson, short print. Man, the short prints are a little better this year. In past years, there were some years where there was mostly all commons because, you know, they wanted to load the base set. Got a bald eagle on the back of this pack. One by Anna. I'm sure that'll be a somewhat collected card. It's, I guess, not a rookie, but it's kind of a rookie. I'm sure according to the, uh, the law of the rookie card, it's not because it's not a basketball product, but it is coming out in the year of what his rookie would be. So... That's a neat little card there. We got Yelich, Seth Brown, Shohei Otani, Anthony Richardson, Rasmussen. Got a mini of Yadi Molina. One was backwards. Let's try. 
trying to look at these codes. These codes are so hard to see. Yeah, it's just the regular one. Just making sure. All right, we got the bald eagle. The talented. I like this product. This is a fun rep. It's not one of those products that cost you five, six hundred dollars and you're getting 20, 30 cards. At least you get a bunch of cards. You get recognizable players. We got Alec Manoa, Reed, Stephen Kwan, fake rookie card. There's no way that's a rookie because he was definitely a rookie last year. Tony Gwynn, Anthony Rendon, Bryce Harper. Gotta love that card. Spencer Strider. With the uh, Allen and Ginter back. Cool Christy Matheson card. Bryce is a uh, high number. That's definitely a, a PC card. Man, only a third of the way through the box. Definitely taking my time with this one. Enjoying uh, taking a look at the cards. Got to enjoy the cards. Jimmy Rollins, J-Roll. Not. Luisa Rise, Bo Bichette, Alvarez, Strasburg, Mini of Matt Holiday. Looks like a high number. We got the Snowy Owl. I do like that they'll use these cards in future releases of Topps Archive Signature Series. I'll try and pick up some of them. There's a young rookie, Assad. He's been pretty good for the Cubs so far. Hendricks, Castillo, Dansby Swanson, Posada. We got a cupcake. Save room for dessert. Cupcakes. Uh, Dirk Jeter, 44 road game hitting streak. Pretty impressive. Posada is a high number. Young, probably the best rookie we've gotten. Haven't hit a ton of the uh, top rookies to this point. Stone Street, there we go with the, one of the top rookies. Gunnar Henderson in competition for Rookie of the Year. We got a Pete Alonzo, Ryan Howard, Charlie Blackman, Lil Baby. We got an Alcantara Mini. Fun in the sun, bodyboarding. Still two hits to get. Ruiz for the Athletics. Lopez, Nichols. Uh, that's uh, Rookie of the Year. That's awesome. It's the actor. Um, Henry Rowan Gardner. Aaron Judge. Pascatino. Veritek. Black Mini, Alex Rodriguez. So I guess the Blacks aren't super tough this year. Cy Young, 25 and a third consecutive hitless innings. That, that is uh, dominance. Veritek is a SP. Oh, we got a frame here. So will it be another relic or maybe an auto? Maybe we'll be lucky. We'll see. Jazz Chisholm, Tommy Edmond, Michael Harris, rookie. We got Gerfalcon. Our mini is Ketel Marte, Allen and Ginter back. O'Connor and all right not an amazing mostly because this guy's been injured this year and you know it's a second year card but I'll take a mini sports autograph bearing the signature of O'Neill Cruz so not uh not bad I will absolutely take it far worse you could do that's a cool one there O'Neill Cruz Auto. So, hey, anytime you open a Ginter box and you get an autograph, I consider it a win. Again, I don't know what the odds are this year, and I haven't watched any breaks to this point. So maybe they've tossed a little more autographs in here, but in years past, definitely not easy. Usually you expect three relics. Ichiro is a Marlin. Ooh, small. 
Salvador Perez, Reese Hoskins, Mookie Betts, Mini of Manny Machado, Ken Griffey Jr., eight consecutive games with a homer, Mookie Betts, high number, rest or base, still working our way to get uh, to the two-thirds spot. We already have our three hits. Cabrian Hayes, White, McGuffin, Von Grissom rookie, Mayer, Bobby Witt, Mini of J. Balvin. We got a piano card. Jackie Robinson. Always gotta love a Jackie card. Glass now, Duran, Posey, Clark, Ronald Acuna Jr. Simeon National Park in Ethiopia. They're doing another uh, run of park cards. This is a teddy ball game. Reach base in 84 consecutive games. That is crazy. Kuna short print. Man, the uh, short prints are better names. I wonder if some of these guys are just short prints or if they have two cards. I didn't like scour the checklist. When it came out, I kind of, one of those things where you're busy and you kind of glance through it quick. Is that Hunter Green? Grayson Rodriguez, Starling Marte, Langliers, Freeman. Let me uh, double check. No uh, SPs there. We got a silver of Class A. A little shine to that one. Mini Hunter Brown. musical instrument all right let's roll through the rest of these packs see what else we can get maybe some sort of parallel there's a bryce okay so bryce must have two cards that is card 60 and the other one is card 364 so there's a bryce harper card and there's a bryce harper high number so that's cool hater o'brien kyle schwarber schwartz jim edmund Mini of Castillo. Allen and Ginter back. I definitely hit a regular Castillo earlier. This is a sweet Don Mattingly. All right. Will Levis. Frank Thomas. Will Myers. Nestor Cortez. Riley Green. Ortiz. Mini Byron Buxton. We got a Falcon. CJ Crone, Willie Mays, the Trumpet Dude, Canerco. Oh, I did get I got a relic. And then I had the framed relic and the auto. Here's another relic. Bonus relic. I mean, it's Andrew Vaughn, um, so it's not going to command a ton, but bonus hit. I'll take it. Many of Andre Dawson. We got a Jimmy Rollins 38-game hitting streak. That's awesome. That's really cool. Definitely attended some of those games. Actually, have a game used base from uh, one of those games. Canerco is short print. Timmy Trumpet. I wonder what, uh, is that a Timmy Trumpet rookie? Someone uh, who's a rookie expert, let me know. We got some oddball collectors out there. He might have had the uh, Topps Now card last year, now that I think about it. DiMaggio, John DiMaggio, I'm not sure who he is. Stand-up comedy. Vlad Guerrero, Neto, Bryce Young. Ken Griffey Jr., Gavin Lux getting some cards. Allen Street, by any other name, Allen Street. 
And fishing. Fishing card. King Griffey getting a Cincinnati card in this product. Uh, Bo Jackson, great looking card there. Zoo, Wade Boggs with the Rays. Zach Wheeler, Kenley Jansen, Bucky Dent, Mini Black Parallel of DiMaggio. George Springer, five home runs during the World Series. Bucky Dent, short print. Corbin Burns, Albert Pujols, Balvin Verlander as a Met, Mookie Betts, Peraza, Mini, Ted Williams, we got another musical instrument, all right, and the final pack of this 2023 Tops Alan Ginter a box break. We got Rappaport, Abrams, Baez, Jameson, Nadal, Prince Fielder. There's the Joey Votto. Got to get a Joey Votto in every box break on the channel. That's a Ginter back mini and a Shohei Otani superstar performance. So that is it. That is a hobby box of 2023 tops Allen and Ginter. I'm sure they'll do blasters as well. Hobby boxes, not sure of the current price, but somewhere between 100 and 120, I would assume. That's the stack of base you get. Got a little uh, group of short prints, high numbers. Didn't crush it with the rookies. Um, obviously, I have more rookies than this. These are a few I pulled out. Uh, Young, Henderson, and Michael Harris, some of the kind of standouts. Got one of these little silver parallels you seem to get a lot of these i'm sure it's a big checklist the uh performances standout performance inserts neat cards they look cool though you get minis in basically every pack so some black some high numbers i love the minis just get yourself some either mini sleeves and mini top loaders mini pages for your binders or you can get the Regular size soft sleeves with mini tobacco sized inserts, and then you can put them in your standard top loaders. I mean, so many cool ways to keep them. Minis are super fun. They're a part of the hobby for a long time. They also have high number short prints like that one. Um, some lesser inserts, and then the hits are in here. So hit a bat relic of Andrew Vaughn, an autograph of O'Neill Cruz, a mini framed jersey relic of Ivan Rodriguez, and then a relic of Rappaport, and a couple non sports highlights trumpet, Bryce Young, obviously the football player, Winbayana, basketball, and uh, some Bryce's for the collection. Super happy to get the Bryce base, the Bryce high number short print. And the Bryce box loader. So, fun rip. I enjoyed the heck out of it. Comment below. Let me know what you think of Topps, Allen, and Ginter. Do you ever break any? Do you like to buy some singles? Do you like to look at it, but you don't really pick any up? Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.